to talk about is some work that I've been doing for the last couple of years with a company called Medicine Lodge. And in this application, we're looking at trying to improve the wear resistance of biomedical alloys. And so there are several issues to, to consider when we're trying to increase wear resistance in general, but specifically wear resistance in biomedical alloys. The first thing is we have to get to use biocompatible materials. Not all materials are biocompatible, and if we want to join various types of biocompatible materials together, <clears throat> we have to deal with the fact that some of these materials are inherently incompatible, meaning in their equilibrium phase, they will form brittle intermetallic in other phases which would cause them to crack and fail prematurely. And so one of the unique things about the lens system is again because of the very small heat affected zone and rapid solidification we can make non-equilibrium microstructures and these are, can be stable microstructures as long as we don't do thermal treatment on them after that and in the body you're hoping you're not getting thermal treatment obviously. But, so what I illustrate on this slide are a few of the things we've done. For instance, in the, you've seen this picture again that's shown in the upper right, and that's cobalt chromoly deposited on a cobalt chromoly substrate. So your question might be, well, why would you consider doing that? Well, if you look at the deposit microstructure, it's the exact same alloy as the substrate, but the microstructure is incredibly different. The carbides are precipitated in a different form. The matrix is uh, there in a different form. And thus, we have significantly different wear properties from the exact same chemistry. On the bottom, we're illustrating an example of increasing titanium carbide content throughout a titanium matrix to change or mod modify the behavior. What's not shown here and what we've done in some more recent work is we've shown that even for a particular fixed amount of titanium carbide, we can create many, many different types of microstructures and not only change the concentration of the secondary material such as titanium in, uh, and titanium carbide mixtures, but change the microstructure of, that, of those combinations significantly by changing our processing. And the last thing I wanted to mention was we're also doing some investigations where, um, for some senior design projects right now. Where we're adding antimicrobial agents right into the lens deposit and this should enable future implants to hopefully, after implantation, have some inherent antimicrobial um, activity in them such that we can hopefully reduce significantly the number of post-surgical issues with infections in implants.